Hello everyone, my name is Carrie, and in today's video I'm going to be doing a cash stuffing for the first week of April and it's going to be a total of $795 plus some additional rollover from my wallet. So let's get started. As I mentioned, I'm going to get started with my wallet because I do have a little bit of rollover. I give myself like a, a weekly amount in my cash stuffings to spend, so I have $35 left over. When I add that $7.95, which is in my cash tray, to the $35, I have $830. So that's the total amount that we're going to be stuffing today. And I'm going to put this back here along with my fully funded placeholders. Um, I'm going to put a couple of fully funded placeholders into two of my envelopes today and then I will stuff the cash into my savings challenge. So it's been a while since I have filmed. I actually took the whole month of March off to film uh, or from filming I should say. I'm going to go ahead and take my change out of here. It's been a while since I had to grab this change container too. So I have a good amount of change but uh, if you don't know already, my husband and I have been looking for our dream home or our, our next home. We sold our first, like our first home, our starter home in January. Well, the closing actually happened at the end of February. Um, so we have been basically displaced and living with family for all of March. And I'm actually recording at the dining room table of our family's home. All right, I am going to give myself um, $60 for spending money. So 20, 40, 60. And then my husband also gets, um, he gets spending money too. So we're going to do 20, 40, 60. Well, let's see, let's do some not so nice 20s. And then he can spend those. Uh, he gets a hundred dollars because I do mine weekly and he gets all of his at once. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So that will go to him and then this will go into my wallet. So yeah, it's been um, recording at the dining room table here and it's been a while since I've had a chance to film because we have been viewing houses every day week every couple of days um, it's one of those things that when a house comes up we sorry about the glare too um, let me put ten dollars into emergency fund I don't have the best lighting because I don't have my usual setup so emergency already has a thousand dollars in the bank plus 120 40 60 70 so 1170 so that's why the lighting's weird. I'm recording this in the morning and the sun is streaming in and it was making way too big of shadows and it was even harder to see stuff. So um, the last time that you probably saw my cash stuffing, the money in the uh, envelopes was a lot different because a lot of things have changed in that amount of time. We don't, we no longer have bills that we have to pay like trash and recycle. Um, we don't have to pay utilities and all that since we're staying with family and we've spent as I said, all of our time basically um, looking and house hunting. We bid on multiple houses and lost those bids for various reasons. We're going to put $10 into gas. Actually going to use, well, use this 10. Um, one of them was contingent upon the our original house selling, which that's why that fell through. The other one, we just got outbid. Um, and we just didn't want to put any more in because um, the house just wasn't like it was already slightly up, up to our budget and we couldn't go much over budget. So but we did finally find a home. All right. So Trash and Recycle has $100 in here and I'm going to put a fully funded placeholder because we're not going to stuff this until we move into our new home which we actually close on our new home and it is an extremely awesome home. We absolutely love it. Um, in about a week. However, I guess with the market how it is these days and something that's left over from COVID, um, annual expenses is getting $10. Our real estate agent was basically explaining this to us, but 150, 70, 90, 205 in annual expenses. Um, 
the deal that we had to sign in order to secure the home was for the owners to continue living in there until June 1st. I for free. Yeah. So we own the home in the middle of April and then we have to wait all the way until June before we could move in, which is super discouraging because, you know, we've been looking for a home and not have our previous home for the past 2 months. So, um just checking my cheat sheet over here of what I'm supposed to be cash stuffing into health, which I think is $20. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 75, 80 in health. Um, no, it's not supposed to be, it's supposed to be 50. I can't even read my own handwriting. It's supposed to be 70 actually. What am I saying? 50, 70 was put in there. All right, uh, 90, 110, 120, 5, 130 in health. Okay, it looks like a two, but it was actually a seven on my sheet. So anyway. Um, but yeah, so we can't move into our home until June, so that's going to be a long saga more of waiting. Um, medical is getting 20. And they wanted to stay even longer. They actually wanted to stay till the middle of June, and we basically said May 31st is like our cutoff, so we can have it by June 1st. 100, 200, uh, 250, 320 dollars in medical. So that's where we're at right now. I'm just going to be hopefully saving as much as money as possible with my husband and I because we're able to basically stay with his dad and it's something that we feel super blessed that we have this opportunity to stay here. But obviously, you know, like we're still living out of suitcases, all of our stuff is still in storage and we still have to continue waiting and paying the mortgage for someone else to live in our house, which is really strange. Like I get that, like, Anyway, they were the only, they weren't the only family that did this. So other families that we like put bids on, we would have to have let them stay in their house for free longer too. And this just happened to be the one that we loved the most. And we were, we don't want to wait that long, but here we are. So Copays has $150, $205. So anyway, it's been a while since I filmed all of my cash, you know, envelopes are totally different. Um, we have, uh, we opened up a separate like savings account um, at our bank for like a bucket for specifically for extra like mortgage payments that we're not paying in the meantime to stock away to save money for the house and future mortgage payments and future um, let's see what is this car registration is getting five and then future like bills and utilities and all that so we have some money that we've been saving 20 40 65 75 65 70 75 yes in car registration um, so a lot of the envelopes that are fully funded or that already have a lot of money in them I'm not going to be stuffing a lot over the next few months because we're just going to be straight saving money for our house so car care is getting 20 so that's sort of like the saga that we've been on the past month, um, 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200 dollars in car care, 80, yes. Um, it's been, yeah, it's been quite the ride, um, and then car deductible is fully funded. And it's not been something that has been like super fun. In some cases it's been exciting and it's been fun to like view homes and that kind of thing but the waiting is just uh, yeah you're like hurry up and wait hurry up and wait hurry up and go see this house okay someone else already bought it in the meantime like it's just a lot um, travel is getting 50 that's all it has because we took money out for travel to pay for um, a trip that we did recently just to like we went to like a hot springs and we just wanted to relax and take the weekend off because we've just been house hunting like so much twenty dollars a week is going into christmas so now we have 100 200 20 40 60 80 300 dollars in christmas which is really good so for april i'm getting back into cash stuffing um, i think that the last video you saw was for the end of february's budget and so then now we're jumping to april so that's why everything's kind of switched around and completely different um, because I took a break but I didn't want to take a break from filming so I sort of like pre-filmed a bunch and then um, actually I think the cash condensing is my last video so I just did that one like a week ago and that kind of set up for or for uh, April's budget all right household is getting 20 
trying to stack up a good amount in household too. 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 35. So that we have plenty to stock our house when we move in. If I can find a picture of the home, I'll try and insert it so you can see what our new home looks like. Um, I'll have to like block out some of the address stuff. Home decor is getting five. So now it has 20, 45, 55, 60. 60 in home decor. I was thinking of bulking this up so we could like buy some home decor and stuff, but then I decided we'll just, we have some extra money that we've saved for like moving into the home and then furnishing the home and stuff like that because the home we actually ended up purchasing was under budget, thankfully. Um, oh, and then the other fully funded placeholder is going to go into electronics. So there's $50 in here and that is good for now. Family fun is going to get 20. So now it has 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60. 160 in family fun. I feel like I'm being a chatterbox today, but I just wanted to kind of catch you up on everything that's been happening. $5 is going into beauty. 50, 65, 75 in beauty now. And uh, we just have a lot going on. And then now for the next two months, we're not going to have anything going on because we will basically have our house wait no skincare is getting 10 not 5 but we can't move into it yet so and we can't do any improvements on it you know we can't have the painters come out we can't have someone clean the carpet like we can't do any of that until they move out and basically start all this in June 10 15 25 30 in skincare I just refilled my skincare so I should be good on this for a hot second clothing is getting 10 as well so now it has 20, 30, 40, 55. Um, but it's been fun, you know, being with family and spending a lot of quality time with people. That's something that we do enjoy, my husband and I. We've been watching movies. We've been making dinner with the family, having dinner every single night. Um, we've been having, like, date nights with each other. We've been going on walks and hikes and stuff near our new home because there's, like, this really nice open space right behind it. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120 in gifts. So that's been really fun to, you know, just try and enjoy this time. And, you know, this is the first time my husband and I's adult life since we started basically like when you're not 20 anymore that we have not had a mortgage payment or like a rent payment, you know. So we're trying to take advantage of that. We're saving all the money that we can and trying to just like really stack it up so that we can, you know, hopefully have a really good start in our next home as far as uh, budget and stuff. Okay, $20 is going into special occasions. So now we have 120, 40, 60. Um, it is funny living like, you know, with your family and then they have routines and then you have routines and you kind of got to get used to each other. But we've been here for a month now, so it has worked out pretty well. And um, my husband and I have like our own room. Or, or actually we have our own like floor basically with its uh, private bathroom room, an office with a door, like it's really nice, so can't complain. Um, all right, so we're gonna jump into our 5K savings challenge, and I kinda switched things around a little bit, and instead of having my box, my monthly box savings challenge, um, I'm just gonna be focusing on, well, here's April's. I'm just gonna be focusing on this and this challenge. So those are the two that I'm gonna put a lot of money in every week, or as much as I can at least. So this week we are doing, um, let's see, we're gonna do 125 and 50. Yeah, 125 and 50 for a total of 175. So let me just grab my marker. And we're going to do 125 plus 50, kind of jumping around a little bit so that I can use like a smaller one with a bigger one. And then we're going to put 150, 75. And then we already have $1,500 in the bank set aside for this in our savings account for this category. So now we have so this would be 1500, 16, 1650, 1670, uh, 90, 1710, 30, 55. So 1755 dollars in our 
$5,050 challenge. Our $1,000 savings challenge is getting 40 this week, which I believe is the next two, so 15 plus 25, so we'll do 40. My husband and I are really excited for this next chapter and we've been saving for a while to buy our next home and we have some money saved up to do like, you know, customization to our house and maybe do a small amount of renovating, you know, update a bathroom, like whatever. So it's going to be really exciting, but it's going to take a while and we really are sad that we have to wait so long to get to the point where we can start. 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 50, 65, 70. So 300. $170 so far towards our $1,000 savings challenge. So what are we like one third of the way basically? And then our 2024 challenge where we're going to save 2024 in 24 um, is going to get 25. So this one right here, 25. Hopefully the glare is not too bad on this um, sorry if it is. So we already have $500 in the bank set aside for this. So now we have 550, 70, 90, 610, 30, 50, 560. So um, $660 towards this challenge. And then in the meantime, I still did my cash stuffings in March. I'm sure you can tell that from like this challenge for example is completed we completed it at the end of March which is really exciting um, so it's a total of $600 100 200 300 400 20 40 60 80 500 20 40 60 80 600 dollars in treat yourself and I'm actually going to take this out because I want to um, I'm probably going to end up buying myself an iPad and using the money um, from the like I'm going to use this money to purchase the iPad with like an eye pen or one of the digital pens so I can use it for budgeting so I'm going to take this out and set it aside and then I'll be able to use this envelope for additional things uh, a new savings challenge maybe that I will start I'm not sure yet all right and then our winter savings challenge is getting 15 so let's see now it has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15. So 115 dollars and we're going to color in this 5 and this 10. And then we can take out um, so this March, or this is a monthly savings challenge I purchased from the Fancy Dollar. So we finished March, and I actually took the money out and put it in our um, savings account towards our, that's going towards our um, extra like mortgage payments and moving budget and stuff. So we're going to do $50 for the first week of April. I'll put that in here. And all of the stuff that I am using currently, all of my savings challenges, even my cash tray, um, my binders, everything that I'm using is linked down below in the description box if you're interested in purchasing any of it. Okay, move this out of the way. And so we have my rollover money that is left. What we're going to do is put it in this here. So this is um, a savings book that I got from Sav Saves. She's here on YouTube and she has an Etsy, uh, Etsy shop. So as you can see, I've been coloring them in. I've been saving money. You can see the dates here. I did all four cash stuffings for March. Um, today is we're going to put in a 20, I think. Yeah, we're just going to keep it consistent. And we're going to say, um, I'll do it like this. Hopefully you can see that without the glare. Today is... Three, twenty. No, I think today's. Well, it doesn't matter. I think today is actually the thirtieth. But we're gonna put in twenty dollars, so we should have two twenty in here. Um, and I will color another fruit off camera. But we're almost done with this. Basically, we have three fruits left, um, and then maybe we'll start it over. So I'll put this twenty in here. 
So now we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20. So that's correct. And I might condense this um, next time as well. And then we have just this small money talks. Throw a buck or two when you have some extra cash. So I'm actually going to put 15 in here. And it should make it 30. So we'll just say 29 to keep it consistent, plus 15 should be 30 in here. This is just random like ones and fives that I have gotten so far and a little bit of rollover. So we'll just add to this. So 10, 15, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Oh, maybe I forgot to write down somewhere in here that I put extra money but okay so now we're I think we're at 32 10 15 20 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 oh okay well that's fine it doesn't really matter um, I think I do remember putting an extra two dollars in here at some point so all right, that is it for uh, the first cash stuffing for April for my weekly paycheck that I get from my full-time job now I really appreciate you hanging out with me today and catching up with me and I will try and keep you updated on everything that's been going on with the house as we continue to like save and you know work some extra hours to save up for our new house. We'll be closing in about a week. Hopefully everything goes through good with that. Really don't want another house to drop through and not be able to purchase it. So cross your fingers and toes for us. Thank you so much for the support the whole way and helping me stay accountable to my budget through the whole process. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.